moment of prayer. Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. Experience miracles. Isaiah chapter 55, I read him from verse 1. It says, Oh, everyone that tasted, come, come ye to the waters. And he that has no money, come ye, buy and eat ye, come buy wine and milk without money without price somebody else has paid for that it was the invitation to salvation and to the kingdom's feet the lord gave the word great was the company of those that published it the lord gave the word and he's still giving the word today as you have received and you are saved you have the word now you possess the word now go with that word the lord gave the word you see them at the train station you see them in the bus you see them in taxi you see them in your school you see them in your market you see them in your community the lord gave the word great was the company of those that publish look at that parable all those servants that he sent the first said they went the second they went even when they had rejected from the former servants the people is still saying they kept on going in you know we can have pain in our body we can have pain in our mind pain in our soul those corrosive words those acidic words and those torturing words the people direct at us and they splash the acid of a bad word on us it causes pain affliction in the heart the lord did not say there will be no pain what he says a deal you will feel it how could he say that and he didn't look at me like that how did he just, you know, looked at me and, and I'm doing my best. And I'm doing the greatest thing any man could do on earth. And they, I thought it was even a friend, an intimate person. Look at what he said and what he did. Look at the criticism. It bites. It pays. It's part of the affliction. But if you're going to do the will of God, it says, endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. You'll go through thorny roads and thorny paths. There are many things that will happen. It's only when you endure, you'll be able to continue doing the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. And it is what we endure. We get over those things, over those hurdles, and eventually we'll make it. You'll make it in Jesus' name. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 27, Hebrews 11 verse 27, by faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured. He endured. If Moses had not endured in Egypt, all those confrontations by, by Pharaoh and all the things he said, terrible terrible even the children of israel what they said you've increased our trouble they criticized him there were times they even wanted to stone him if he had not endured to the edge he would not have brought the children of israel to the border of canaan to then hand over to joshua and to say take them in. And, and do you remember that's how we have the Bible it's out of those Israelites that Moses brought to the land of Canaan it's out of them we have the Bible the first five books by Moses himself and then Joshua and the judges and all the books of the Old Testament out of those people that came through the people that got to Canaan those, that's the why we have the Bible even the New Testament as you look at the New Testament all those Jews, Jewish people like Paul, like Peter, like James, like John that they've given us the Bible but it took one man to endure all things he wasn't looking at what he suffered at that present time 
he was looking at the future. And if we don't endure whatever comes to us now, and we shut up, and we pack up, and we fold up, and we melt down like wax, and we cannot have a backbone to continue and to endure, many generations, hundreds and thousands and millions of people will miss what we have to offer. But we have to endure. Endure as the messenger, the servant of the Lord, and do what he has called us to do. You will endure. Amen. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer. Let's rise up now and talk to the Lord in prayer.